Hey, look, Andrea's back. It's good to be back. Of course, we have a family vehicle, so Andrea's here to give her insight on this all-new 2021 Kia Sorento. This is all-new with standard three rows of seats, plus it's bigger and it comes with two available engines. It's actually 35 millimeters longer, it's lighter, it's quicker, and it's more fuel efficient. Now, the design on the outside, it's got the new modified Tiger Nose grille and the eyeline front LED lights. Also, LEDs come standard in the back. And you know what? There is a ton to talk about with this design. Let's get in and take it for a drive. Now, for those of you who follow along on the Motoring TV Facebook page, we did post a quick little preview video of this Sorento, and there were a lot of comments about the way it looked. Yeah, some people said it looks like a Ford product. Dodge Journey, Honda Passport, but all of the feedback was very positive about this new look. It's boxy, it's kind of domestic looking, but it still has the Tiger Nose grill mm -hmm. and the new lights on the outside. I like the look of it. Me too. The previous model was a little bit softer looking. This is more rugged, and I agree with you. I quite like it as well. The inside, Kia has another showstopper here. There's a real wow factor in here with the 10 and a quarter inch touch screen, and you also get a 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster. These are all on the top trim. On the base model, it comes with an eight inch screen. But all of them come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. That's right. So there's two engine choices. We're gonna mm -hmm. get to that in just a moment. The base engine gets a bench seat in the second row. That's right. Now, most of the trims are the turbo that we're driving right now. Mm -hmm. But what happens when you get the turbo? Unfortunately, when you get the turbo, you get the captain's chairs. You don't get a bench seat, which makes it a six-seater. Not offering a bench seat in the second row mm -hmm. with this turbocharged engine seems like an odd packaging choice to me. I think that people are going to be disappointed that you can't yeah. get a seven-seater. But the flip side is, it comes standard with three rows. It comes standard with three rows, which is a real treat. And the panoramic sunroof is only on the top two trims as well. Kia has another showstopper. Their interiors are just fantastic. And this mm -hmm. one, of course, is the top trim. They always give you the nicest one. But boy, with the quilted seats and uh, all of the patterns in the doors and the instrument panel, I think it it really looks class above, doesn't it? It really does, and this center console is just so well designed. You have the shifter, you have the heated steering wheel switch, and you also have the wireless charger. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Yeah, so we're in the turbo. The base engine is only available on the first two trims. What do you get with That's that? That's right. It's a 2.5 liter four cylinder, eight speed automatic transmission, 191 horsepower, and 182 pound feet of torque. And then you get into the turbocharged engine. So it's two and a half liters, but turbocharged, 281 horsepower, but 311 pound feet of torque. I really like it. It handles really well. The turning radius is excellent. It's perfect for city driving. And when you get it on the highway, it's smooth and the cabin is quiet. Which one is gonna be better for you as a mom? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna want the Sorento? or you want to go to the bigger Telluride? I think the Telluride is a fantastic product, but if I don't want such a huge vehicle for the city, parallel parking can be a little bit difficult, and I only need six or seven seats in a pinch, I think this Sorento is going to be just great. The good news for Kia is they have a lot of choices. They've got a three-row Sorento, a three-row Telluride that it's kind of competing against. So the good news for them is they're going to sell a lot of Kias. Which one? We'll have to wait and see. So here's the question, where were you 32 years ago? 
I know some of you weren't even a glint in your father's eye. As for me, well, I was in diapers, but found time to get motoring TV off the ground. And today I like to think we've got one of the best automotive video libraries in the world. If you agree, please give us the thumbs up and also subscribe. We really appreciate it.